Hi, we're back again working on my painting. So the next thing I'm doing, I drew the tree and now I'm going to erase all of my grid lines and then I'm just going to take some black paint and I'm going to have Mars black, Mars black and I'm going to outline what I've drawn with my pencil so that I can continue to work on it next time. So um, you may notice that the canvas is a little bit tighter. It was kind of not stretched out very good before because we had a different canvas underneath it. We decided to just take that off and restretch this one because it's better quality canvas anyway. So that's what we've done. Looks a little better and I'm going to start erasing right now. I think I erased all of it. Um, the reason why I wanted to erase it all is because I'm going to be using a pretty light color transparent wash on the background of this painting and I don't want pencil marks to show through. So I want to erase those. The rest of the pencil marks that you still see, the koala and the um, tree, are going to be in black. So I'm not too concerned with that part of it. So now I'm going to use some um, liquid because that's what I have. That's the medium I'm going to use. Kind of go over the areas that I'm going to be painting. And, um, and oil them in, and then I'm going to paint it black and let it dry. So, here we go. That's a lot of liquid. Okay, now that I have the liquid on, I am going to wipe some of it off. Um, it's good to put a medium down before you start painting. It allows the paint to move if you need it to. Um, it also allows it to adhere better and can make things transparent and can make things dry faster and can make things glossier or dry slower. Lots of different things, but this one's just going to help it dry a little bit quicker and move easier if I need it to. So now I just kind of want to wipe it off a little bit so it's not too wet. Probably should have put a tarp down on the ground so I didn't get this on the carpet, but, you know, 2020, hindsight, all that stuff. So I'm just using a dry brush here, just kind of trying to spread it out nice and thin. That's all. And then I'll do my black outline. He looks cute. You can see him better now with the medium on palette from the uh, canvas in here. Okay, so that should be a little better. Black spot there. Oh well. Okay, now I'm going to use my Mars black and it actually opened. That's good. 
and I'm going to paint my outline. I'm not worried about it being too perfect right now. I'm going to put a light colored wash over this after it dries and then I'm going to go back over the black outline thicker and put some more detail into it. Try to make it look a little bit three dimensional if I can. much smaller brush this time. Just using a flat uh, wannabe sable brush. done. Um, I went over the whole thing a second time because I'm just trying to remove as much extra paint as I can. Uh, this, this Mars black is very opaque so I don't have to worry about laying it on thick. I want to lay it on as thin as I can but still I'll have it show through when I do my wash next time. So that is it for tonight and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe!